we just got to our hotel for the night. It is Friday and November the 4th. And we are in the ghost town called Shepherdstown, West Virginia. So yeah, I'm really excited guys. Um, we didn't really know where we were going to go. My husband was like trying to surprise me and take me somewhere. And then at the like last minute, it was just kind of hard to find places that weren't like booked up and stuff. Because we were, he originally wanted to take me to a cabin because he knew I wanted to stay in a cabin. But this time of the year, they're really booked up and you can't really, it's like, yeah, you would have had to book them things like two months ago to get one, I guess, because it's just the cabin season, you know? So, um, we're at the Clarion Hotel and I'm pretty sure my cousin and his wife got married here. So, I've been here before, which is really weird because I didn't realize that it was here. For some reason, I was thinking it was somewhere else, but this is it. Like, we pulled up, and I'm like, uh, I've been here before. It was, like, really funny and weird. So, yeah, we're in Shepherdstown. It's really pretty, guys. Like, uh, driving in off two-lane road from the interstate, there's so many beautiful houses. Like, so many. It just, I was, like, looked at my husband, and I'm like, are we in Richville or what? Like, there's so many rich-looking, like, houses, fancy driveways, and fences. Yeah. Here comes my husband, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I hope we get to ghost hunt. This is a really nice. This place is huge. It's a huge house. Bet there's some money involved in that. There's a pizza bar down there. Want to get pizza? See you later. Where are you going? Side, you can put a horse and carriage on that side over there where that cover is. Coming up upon a graveyard. In Shepherdstown. This is called the Christ Church. 1747. That's old. Oh, it's long. This is old. Oh. Revolutionary War soldier. Oh my gosh. <coughs> away. Look how freaking creepy those trees are. <laughs> wow. There's some old stones over there. Wow. Look, babe. Okay. 17. What's that say? There's 17. some stuff over there too. Wow. This is probably one of the creepiest graveyards I've ever been to. It's just, I don't know. It looks really old and creepy. Okay, you know the drill. If there's any spirits here. Can you say hi to my camera? Ooh. These trees.
Can you even read those? No, Look at that. Oh, they're they're brick, uh... It's got a model. Yeah, it's like really old. Walk up to the top of this, this little hill up here. Look how far it's down and look. That's where all the people died down. There's a valley right over here. All right, now <clears> tell <throat> my viewers what the name of this one is because I can't pronounce it as good as you. It's called the Battle of Antietam. It took place back 1864, 1865, one of the bloodiest battles in the Civil War. Both sides lost combined about 22,000 men. That's a lot. And apparently we have to leave when it gets dark because you're not allowed to be here after dark, which kind of sucks because I wanted to go sun here. But um, this place is huge and it's really pretty. Like, you can see forever. That's really cool. This place is so cool, guys. Oh my gosh. I really just want to... This is really cool. The state of New York. Look at these. This is awesome. It's a huge freaking field. This is cool up here. Are there any Civil War spirits here with us? Look, there's monuments down there too. Yeah, you can drive down in there. See those people are walking down there? Holy shit. What, what yeah. yeah. So how far was this battle? Oh, this is huge. Like this battle went forever. Twenty two thousand people died. New York State. That's just people from New York, New York State that died. And it goes for miles and miles and miles. And those farmhouses are probably the same as they were back in the day. I'm sure you walk in those places probably all the same as they used to be, as they were, they haven't been touched. What's this place over here? That's your visitor center. Gives you all kind of background. This is wild. You never been here? Mm -hmm. Harper's Ferry is not that far from here either. No. I don't know where it's at though. It might be over there. Yeah. See where that mountain is? It looks like the Harper's Ferry mountain way over there. That's Harper's Ferry, we're thinking, over there. Is there any Civil War battle spirits? Whew, it's cold out here. <laughs> and whoever lives in that house down there, if somebody lives down there, I bet it's haunted. North Star. North Star. Yeah, it is. The North Star. And the moon is like a little banana tonight. <laughs> it's like a little crescent moon. There's some stuff down in there. Guess we have to drive to that.
it's LDS. All kind of monuments and shit, cake. A lot of shit to walk around and see, I guess, isn't there? Oh, pretty. What kind of monument lookouts? So it's day two on Saturday, and we come back to the battlefield of Antietam. Because it's just really pretty here, and it's there's a lot of like statues and stuff you can walk around and look at. It'd probably take you forever to walk to all of them. So we left the car running. It's like down there. Probably should have turned it off, but you weren't allowed to dr drive it down this track. I guess just like walking trail. But these old fences are like really cool. So yeah, it's really pretty out today. No freaking clouds at all. There's one way off down there. This road here called Bloody Lane. Bloody Lane Trail. Oh god. There's one right there. There's all kind of monuments. So there's a lot of stuff to look at here. The fence looks so cool, like look at that. All the way down the road. That's like really cool. Probably get really nervous up here. Huh. This gives me the creeps. <laughs> oh my god, my legs are getting tired. Like an old lady. Wow. This is so cool. This is fucking beautiful up here. Hey guys, so it is Sunday now, and I just got done getting ready. I look really crappy. I need to wash my hair. It is like day three or day two without it being washed, and now that my brown's coming back out, it looks a lot more greasier than when it did when I had blonde hair, which I hate because I used to be able to go like four days without washing my hair, and now I can't do that because it's too oily looking. So that sucks. And <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog off can't talk like usual um i hope you guys enjoyed the footage that i got when we went to shepherdstown and to sharpsburg so yeah if you guys like these adventure videos then give this one a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel i make new videos every single week so if you guys are new 
then welcome to my channel and if you want to be a part of our family just hit that red button down there and you'll be notified when I upload so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Thank you.